Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, and it's 8.32 a.m. And uh, this is a whole different kind of news because, because of what happened to my dog, and I was feeding him grain-free dog food. Okay, well, the vet that I took him to where I found out he had the tumor told me he's got a big sign up saying uh, grain-free dog food is uh, causing dilated cardiomyopathy in dogs. Okay, so see that's what I was thinking is something was wrong with his heart because it would pound out of his chest when he when he would run. He would run on three legs and hold that right one up like this, you know. And and then I thought he had a stroke because of the heart problem. So I got him to that doctor who had that sign about the grain-free dog food. And he told me it's lacking taurine. And so I'm thinking, okay, so I need to give him a taurine supplement. Well... I follow this veterinarian online, and he's put up a, I got an email, it's talking about the grain-free dog food and it lacking taurine. <laughs> well, I looked this up before, and I thought, surely I misunderstood and taurine was not the word, okay? But yeah, it was. Listen to this. Taurine and dog food. This is for all you pet owners out there. In July 2018, the FDA released a warning about grain-free dog foods and their possible connection to the development of a serious heart disease in dogs. In this warning, just is this warning justified and based on science? Let's take a look at the facts. What is taurine? Taurine is an amino acid found primarily in meat. And what do dogs basically eat? They are carnivores and they need meat. It is abundant in the brain, the eye, especially the retina, muscle tissue and many organs it is an essential component of bile acids which are produced in the liver stored in the gallbladder and used to break down fats from food okay most mammals produce their own taurine from precursors the notable exception is cats, who must consume taurine in their diet. The first step involves the sulfur-containing essential amino acid methionine, which is used to make another amino acid, cysteine, also spelled C-Y-S-T-I-N-E, cysteine. Finally, Taurine is made from cysteine. Okay, the long story short, there's a bunch of misinformation going on with the dog food industry. I mean, what the heck? Okay, they want you to go back to feeding your dog food with grains. Why? Why are they so concerned with so many dogs not dying early? I'm not sure the answer to that, I can guess, but the, the genetically modified organisms in corn are not good for your dog. You do not want to feed them what that woman gave me, the breeder gave me and said, keep him on this for his whole life. And I said, I thought puppy food had too much protein to keep feeding them their whole life or so, too many calories or something. She said, oh, no, no, no. You need to feed him this his whole life. It'll keep his coat shiny 
and pretty and silky. Okay, well, upon looking at the ingredients, it's Purina 1, one of their high dollar ones. Purina Purina's made by Nestle, okay? The first ingredient is chicken. The second is corn, corn meal. The fourth or fifth ingredient is whole grain corn. It's in there twice. Corn. I said, I'm not feeding my dog this. I went ahead and put him on what Buddy was on, which was grain free, and he loves it. It has meat, sweet potatoes, uh, and pumpkin. Now, there were some articles that said doctors were afraid that was too much carbohydrate for a dog, but the point is dogs are carnivores. They need protein more than any of that other. And even my vet's assistant said, oh, don't cook your dog food. He's going to always want it. Well, so I cooked a batch every month. Gave It's, it's like 80% or more protein and just a little bit of carbohydrates from the peas and carrots. And I'm going to continue to keep my dog on that even though I don't think we're going to be here all that long. I really don't. There's just too much happening. Too many things going on. But in the meanwhile... Uh, make sure your dog's getting adequate amounts of protein and and unless you just bought a big bag of dog food with corn in it and you can't afford to get anything else, just pray over it. And liars. It's just... <laughs> you know, and that vet told me the one that's saw the tumor on Buddy, he's an older guy, he said, you need to stop feeding your dog that grain-free and put him back on regular dog food so he'll get the taurine that he needs. Doesn't that just kind of show their ignorance? <laughs> and I sent this piece of uh, information to the online vet that I follow for holistic cures and stuff because he was saying the same thing. You know, it just goes to show you no matter what information we're taught, we should do our own research. And I pray this helps me to be a better researcher. I'm going to end it at that. And I say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Let's take care of our little fur babies. Well, we got them. All right. Bye for now. Talk to you later.